Alright, um, before we begin, uh, I'd like to remind you that you should follow me on Twitter if you'd like to get the latest updates of what I've been messing around with. It's it's all Linux dot com. It, sorry, it's twitter dot com slash it's all Linux. And uh, my new website address has been changed to it's all Linux dot tripod dot com. It's right here. Since uh, for some reason, one hundred and ten MB has pulled my website off. So you should vis visit my website too. And today I'm going to be talking about uh, alternatives. Uh, messaging clients for Linux. Now on Windows, if you're using uh, MSN, you're going to be using Windows Live Messenger and if you use Yahoo, you'll be using Yahoo Messenger. If you use AOL, you use that messenger. But on Linux, however, there are, n there are no cl clients for Linux supported with uh, those messaging clients. They are not there are no Linux versions, but uh, unfortunately, there are lots of alternatives um, clients out there. And today, we're going to be comparing uh, th three clients. I'll, I'll show you the first one first. It's Pigeon Internet Messenger. It's probably the most popular one out there. It's uh, pre-installed with uh, Subuntu, Fedora and most of the Linux distributions. That's because it's got lots of uh, client supported. If you use MSN, you sign in with MSN. I'm gonna... Pigeon is really, really neat. It's re very polished. It's... Uh, I'm gonna... <laughs> it's really uh, simple to use. But it's n it hasn't got much... Uh, uh, s features out there. It's got some features. It's got some really nice features. Yeah, uh, some of the features. You can change the smiley themes. You can change sounds and all that. You can change how m how many minutes you you know basic basic stuff and. What you can do here is set your settings, and if you want to set a personalized settings for your personal message or whatever, what you need to go to with the title is uh, test, and you select your status. I'm gonna be invisible, and you're gonna say, I can say, oh, I'm on Twitter, something like that. You can add a smiley. And that will be your personal message. Yeah. If it so it's really, really, sorry, really, really simple. So if I want to talk to this guy, there are not much options uh, here. And change the font and get a bold italic underline. As you can change the font face or whatever. I can insert a link. I can insert a smiley which looks really great and I can if I go here I can do some stuff here I can new instant message find I can save save so that I can view the log uh, get a, have a look at it later I can clear scroll bar I can just uh, yeah send a file I can block I can n rename by having an alias I can send file and it will browse into the file yes I can mute sound mute logging whatever and it's really cool I can set alias now so that it will remember that person as something else instead of having long names such as I don't know yeah, so that's Pigeon. The next one is AMSN. Now it's got a real, a little bit of weird interface. This is what it looks like. And here it looks much more complicated. It's got um, 
a pretty good interface. You can you can change it if you feel like you don't like it. You can of course view history, send offline message. Uh, you can change their names by going to properties, going to settings, and change custom nicks such as idiot or uh, whatever. That will remember the person's uh, display name as something else. And as you can see here, you, I can change my display name, display picture name, by going to here. Change Nick, display picture. I get lots of other uh, pre-installed display pictures. I can also browse. I can change my name by going here to change Nick. I can change my name, add personal message, add friendly name. So it's it's got a much more complicated UI. And if I go to s accounts and preferences, I get lots of options here. And change your parents, and yeah, change date formats. Uh, you know, display emoticons, play s notifier, notify sound, play sounds, and you know, sh lots of it's really customizable here. When contact opens a chat with me, I want it to be minimized, I can find. Uh, when you click the close button in the tab, chat window, exit chime, close all tabs, whatever. Uh, yep. I can change how uh, information locks. And if I go to the advanced tabs, I, have I get lots and lots of options which I can configure, which is great. Send other users, uh, you know, it's great. So that's this is the AMSN chat windows. It looks a lot like MSN actually, Windows Live Messenger. You can add winks, you can notch, you can send files. You can block, you can webcam. There are lots and lots of options on AMSN which you should try out. AMSN, it might look not look as great, so it's really, really customizable. It's pro it's unfortunately it only works for MSN accounts, but it is really great. Really customizable. Next one is this one. It's called MSN. This one is much simpler than uh, a MSN, but it's got it's got really nice features. It's got a simple UI, but it's got more features than uh, what's it called Pigeon. Well, here as you can see, this is the chat window. Uh, there are more options here. Invite a friend, whatever. Whereas you get more options here. You can set your personal message easily by clicking right here. You can browse through people. You can do stuff. And change the extent. Yeah. You go to preferences and you get some options here. File transfer, you can change where it you want it to be transferred from. You can change the color scheme. You can change the interface. Easy interface. Use avatars. Mm. Themes. Use small icons. Yeah, you get more uh, options here than Pigeon, but it's a lot less complicated than AMSN. So, as a conclusion, MS and user, I recommend AMSN. It's the closest to Windows Live Messenger. But if you want a neater UI than AMSN, you should try MSN. If you are, however, not an MSN user, I recommend Pigeon. So that's it for me. Thank you.